all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be working on this 64 nova gasser wagon and um, before we start I would like to let you know that I just got through a cold I was coughing a lot turns out my son has it now so you might hear him coughing through this video he didn't go to school today so he was just hanging around while I was working on this custom so there you can see I'm drilling, drilling again. You know the drill, small drill first, then the biggest one to remove the, the head of the mushroom post, remove the, the base. The interiors are kind of tight, but they'll come off. I was thinking about doing like a dragster with tucked in wheels, but uh, Hot Wheels already has a 64 Nova like that. You might see it <clears throat> in the pegs with uh, all the crazy colors. If you really look at it, it's the same car, this, except, except for the fact that this one is just uh, a gasser. Like always, I like to remove the, <clears throat> open up the tabs. I don't like to cut them. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you. I use some green light wheel riders. There I use my Dremel to clean the, the outer edge of the post. Just to make sure the, the base can fit again. I tap some threads. And I make sure that the base can go back with some 256 button head screws. Got to make sure that a screw goes in all the way. In this case, I'm not going to be painting, but if you're going to paint, you got to make sure you do all of this before you paint. There you can see that uh, everything goes back together pretty good. We're just going to keep working on this. All right, so I decided to use a set from this uh, green light muscle set. I only have two sets left. I'm going to be using these. They're like uh, dragster wheels. Skin is in the front. So, what you have here, I've shown this before in previous video, but if you haven't seen it, here it is again. A normal valve here to fill up basketballs. What I do is I hold it with pliers, take it over to the stove, Heat it up and basically create the groove here. As you can see, got a tight fit. Basically, don't have to use glue. It's not going to go anywhere. Then I take another one and I cut it into an appropriate size. As you can see, I have two here. I believe one is a little slightly longer than the other one. You can see, this one is longer, that's it for the front. This is the included axle that they provide, similar to the M2. Look. You use that as a sleeve, you don't have to use any glue. There, and here it is, all put together. No glue, 
so this like this looks like this should be able to keep everything leveled that way when you put it on the floor everything should be nice and perfect See here, this one is crooked. That's an easy fix. Since we don't use any glue, take it apart. So on the passenger side, take our file. We try to make it level. That's a problem with the, when you use glue, sometimes you end up with a car all crooked. better now to be sure I'm going to install the, the behind the screw I should install the interior screw but this is just a test I should hold the base firmly Perfect now. Beautiful. Now all we gotta do is do some details and put it back together. Alright guys, so check out the black trim. Painted black the inside of the engine bay. And since I painted gray first here, I use a Milwaukee red Sharpie. This one works better than the Sharpie red. Sharpie red really doesn't look any good. I use gray first and then the red. It makes it, makes it look like a translucent red. We're ready to put it back together. Don't forget, since you are running thicker tubes here, you have to do the same trick here to the interiors around the, the tube. You're gonna have some excess that burned off. Just clean it off with your exacto knife. If you don't do this, it's not going to fit back together. You can also use a drill. But find that using the heating up method. It's a lot quicker and cleaner. So let's see if it fits. Make sure everything is sitting properly. Still, still touching somewhere. And it could be all, all of this right here. But I don't want to take that off. I'd rather take it off over here. 
So let me let me find a wire cutter. Okay, here we go. Should be able to get away just cutting this much. I don't want to clean it up in this side because all that burned plastic is what's holding everything in place. If I remove that, I might have to use uh, glue. And I don't want to use glue. We're almost there. So now I think that should be it. I'm having a little interference here in the front, but I think, let's see what it is. Let's see now. Yep. Now it's perfect. Put the screws back on. I thought about painting the whole interior with black chrome, which I might still do, but for the purpose of this video, if I do that, I have to wait a complete day for that to dry. Let's push everything back. Let's bring this down. And here we have the perfect roller. Let's see if I get more light down here. There you go. There it is, guys. Could do the headlights. Here is another wheel swap using some green light real riders. Let me know what you think, and I'll be reading your comments. Thank you for watching. Peace out.